y'all, it's Heather, and I am very mindful, very demure, and very excited because we are gonna be talking about TikTok viral makeup. It's gonna be a good time. I've got a bunch of new products to test out. I've got some old favorites that we're gonna pull out. I cannot wait, but let's jump to me makeup free. I have my face primed for makeup, and we're gonna use a super viral popular foundation over on TikTok. And no, it's not the tear tear, even though I absolutely love that foundation. We're gonna go with the Urban Decay Face Bond. I see this all over social media, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. And I happen to love this foundation. So we're going to use that today because the main product I want to test is this Real Technique sponge. This is weird. This kind of grossed me out and I'm not surprised it's viral because that's the type of thing TikTok loves, like a whole WTF is this. And this sponge is supposed to look like a human fingerprint, which whose fingerprint like aren't all fingerprints unique. This is weird to me. Real Technique says to use this sponge dry. I'm going to zoom you in and we're going to see like, is this just a gimmick or does it actually do something? I'm going to dot this foundation on with my actual fingerprint, not somebody else's. <laughs> and we'll dust this sponge. I, I, I want to see like, okay, is it going to work? Let's do like, let's maybe just do this end. Yeah. Eh. This is popular because it's weird, okay? Because I can tell you right now, this is like, listen. Do you hear that? I don't like it. I mean, it works, like it's fine. Is it an enjoyable experience? No. I mean, the sponge did fine. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of setting spray and I'm gonna press it in with the regular sponge side. I think it was smart that they did that so that people are like, well, I'll still use it instead of returning it because I can't imagine people like actually really like this, but maybe they do. Maybe they do. While I press things in a little bit, let's talk about this whole demure trend. <laughs> so when I first heard this, I was like, demure, what in the oppressive trad wife nonsense is this now? Like, what, what is going on? Absolutely not. Shy, quiet, not words I would use to describe myself. Quiet, shy, demure. But I saw the original TikTok, Jules, <laughs> who I actually got to meet very briefly in person. And I was, I thought it was so fun. So let, let me, let me, <laughs> let me show you the, the TikTok. You see how I do my makeup for work? very demure very mindful i don't come to work with a green cut crease i don't look like a clown when i go to work i don't do too much i'm very mindful while i'm at work see how i look very presentable the way i came to the interview is the way i go to the job so once i saw that video from jules i'm like okay i get it like it's funny it's like i'm not wearing a green cut crease to work which is hilarious because if you're new here hey my name is heather i'm actually having my degree in health sciences and I worked as a respiratory therapist for 15 years at a children's hospital and I 100% wore green to my job especially if I had time now a lot of times it was like one multi-chrome all over the lid and go because I didn't have that kind of time and I feel like in the video Jules is obviously like having a good time with it but I think the foundation is good and I have another tool I want to try this is the Real Techniques brightening concealer brush so this is the viral BK Beauty brush this is the Angie hot and flashy collab it's the a506 this has gone like crazy viral everybody and their mom and their cousin's aunt's brother like use and love this brush and I love it too like it's amazing so I see kind of that Real Techniques was going for something similar maybe not a complete dupe because obviously they are different like just looking at them side by side we're gonna use this so I will use my Natasha Denona concealer we're giving chaotic energy today okay like that's the level we're on I am all over the place made my first purchase from Rode I bought their like lip products so one of them is tinted so we'll save that for later but I bought the what do you call yourself peptide lip treatment from Rode this is salted caramel so this one does not have color I have never tried Rode before and I want to know is this like worth having a phone case for because we all remember the Rode phone case they still sell them people love them do what you want with that 
I'm going to just see like, is this life changing? Is this gonna make me look like Hailey Bieber? That's what I wanna know. And it's actually making me a little hungry because it smells so good. Did I need to rub it in with my finger? No, but I squeezed too much product out and I needed to like disperse it like that. Let's see if this brush is just as good as uh, some of the others that I have in this style. I won't say dupe because again, I don't think it's like an exact replica or anything like that. I mean, I, I think that worked okay. I do think it's a little more flimsy than other brushes I have like this. So I don't know, just first impression. Okay, first impression, I've never used this before. But my first impression is that I don't know, having what I have in my collection, if this would be a brush that I would reach for over the BK Beauty. And if someone was asking me what concealer brush should they get, I don't know that I would say this one. I mean, right now, I actually know that I would say like, not this one. Not that it's bad, but it's not, for me, as nice as the others. It's definitely not as nice as the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy, but it's working. It's working okay. The concealer's looking nice, but I just wanna be a little bit extra and go in with a lighter shade just in here. And I'll use the brush again to blend it out. I'm gonna grab my little Sigma switch though and buff it off so I don't have too much product on my brush already because there's a lot. I finally am gonna try one of these Rode pocket blushes. These are huge on all social media, but I feel like Rode is definitely massive over on TikTok. People love these. I bought their shade Toasted Teddy. And this, this is cute. I've never actually like had one of these. Like it's it's my first time, but wow, that's tiny. Put some on the back of my hand. Oh, that's, that's pretty pigmented. I'm excited to try it. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. I'm gonna grab a brush and we'll go like from hand to brush to face. Okay, I've got the product loaded up on my brush and we're just going to pounce it in. About these blushes and the main thing that I wanted to do with them was to create a really beautiful cream blush that gave you this really beautiful flush you know, when you take a nap and you just woke up and you have those really flushed pink cheeks, I wanted it to give that kind of a look. And I also wanted it to be something that you could throw in your bag, throw in your pocket. Take that is a really, really beautiful color. I think that's a really pretty finish. I think it's a really pretty formula. I think everything blended nice and I like it. Like I don't, regret my purchase at all. I think that's super pretty. I'm super into it. I could see myself buying more of these road blushes. Do I think it's something that is just so special that if you have never tried the formula, you are missing out. What are you doing? Like run by this? No, I think it's a very pretty cream blush though. I mean, this blush is looking really pretty. Like it was really easy to apply. It has pigment. It was easy to build up. Like I do understand like why they are so popular. I do understand that the packaging is cute. Like I get it. Let's use this powder from Polite Society because people absolutely love this powder. I bought mine at Ulta and I bought the shade Translucent. This is more than a pretty powder. Poor minimizer, talc free, micro fine, loose setting powder. And I'm going to get some of this powder in the cap. I'm gonna apply this and I'm gonna play you some clips so that you can see how much people love this. Loose powder I have ever put on my face. Some of the most finely milled loose powders I've ever felt is a $36 loose powder. It has two ingredients at the start that blew my mind. One being the fact that they put silica in this at as high of a level as they did. Proven to minimize the look of pores. Now that's a really bold claim. This is the new Polite Society more than a pretty powder. That blur is insane. Look at how blurred it left me. Okay, this is it side by side up close. This powder is clinically proven to minimize the appearance of pores, prolong the wearing makeup, and control shine. This is the brand new Polite Society more than a pretty powder. It is a loose talc free powder. It is so finely milled. As far as pore minimizing, I really feel that most mattifying powders are gonna minimize the look of pores because when you have like a cream product, 
it is going to be that more wet consistency. So light hitting that area and then shine and light reflecting back, like you're just gonna see more texture. Whereas a powder is going to kind of mattify thing, the light's not gonna bounce off as much. And you may have texture as like under eye wrinkles, things like that emphasized. But for the most part, it is gonna smooth out pores. I am not doing a first impression on this powder. I've worn this quite a few times now. I'm not fully ready to give my full review on it yet. I wanna test it a few more times. But for me, somebody who has oily skin and who lives in a very humid place, I don't love this powder. I don't love, like you can definitely see, like if I turn my forehead, like you can see kind of that white cast. And I mean, that's not excess powder. That's just the line from where the powder is, like where it's set and not set. So it's not my go-to, like it's not my go-to. And for reference, I love Huda, Easy Bake Loose Setting Powders. I love the One Size Loose Setting Powder. I forget all the names for them. I love the Sigma Perfecting Setting Powder if I don't want something that's super matte. Does Rare Beauty make products that don't go viral? I don't know. If they do, I haven't heard of them. But their new finishing powder, everywhere, everywhere. First of all, to me, it looks like a toilet seat, okay? This, you cannot tell me that this does not look like a toilet seat, but we'll get past that. This is a finishing powder, not really like a setting powder or anything. I like to use this to finish. Like my face, I have basically like all my creams and liquids done. I've set with translucent powder. Now I'm gonna go and buff in this finishing powder. So what we have here is a tinted finishing powder. Now most finishing powders are gonna be translucent. And even though they're translucent, they have a very white cast to them. So I absolutely love the idea of a finishing powder having my skin tone, having a little bit of a tint to it. Look at how beautiful this is. Here's with the powder and then here is without. No, I think Selena's finishing powder is cute. You know, I like the shade and it bring a little life back to my face because I feel like that polite society was like, whoo, you know, like making me the ghost with the most. But I don't have a mindful, demure, new viral <laughs> brow product. So I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows and I will be right back. And I'm gonna have a snack. Of course, when Urban Decay brought the OG Naked Palette back after years, it went viral, even on TikTok, where I feel like I don't see a ton of eyeshadow content. I wanna pull this out. I made a whole video on this palette. I compared it to my palette from 2010 because I still have my original. And if anything in that video, you will see that Urban Decay, they make shadows that are made to last because my 10 year old, 14 year old, 2010, 14 years old palette still did great. Ultra, very thoughtful, very demure. Do you see how I'm sitting here? Very ladylike, very mindful. Very demure. Have you seen the band? Very chic, very elegant, very demure. What does mean demure? <laughs> Nobody knows. I think my look with the Naked palette, kind of replicating Ash K. Holmes' look on Chloe, is pretty, pretty good. I like it for my eye shape, a little less dramatic, you know, and I'm, I'm feeling it. So I brushed my hair, I put on my jewelry, I had my little snack, and we are going to bronze. This bronzer from One Size, so viral on TikTok, and I think it's because, one, it's a great bronzer. Like, I love this. I bought this when it first launched. You can see, like, mine is pretty used, but they run, like, sales and deals on TikTok. Talk, talk. I always want to say talk, talk, but TikTok. They're always running like sales and deals and stuff like that. But I like seeing people like discover this product, even though it's something that's not new. Look at how pigmented that is. I'm barely tapping, but look at this is my literal favorite bronzer. It's actually a bronzing and sculpting trio, but there's three shades. I'm gonna keep using this palette because it looks very blended and it melts into my skin. I was not surprised at all to see that Glam Light has one of the best selling and trending highlighters on TikTok. Glam Light makes beautiful 
blinding amazing highlighters and I am always in love with their formulas like so intense so beautiful and one of my favorites from the brand is the Scooby-Doo highlighter it is fun <laughs> it has that lenticular motion packaging and it is so sparkly a tiny bit goes a long way like I've had this since it launched a few years ago and you can still see my embossings in the pan they're beautiful and I saw that on TikTok they have sold thousands of these I'm telling you already like why are you sleeping on this Scooby-Doo glam white highlighter are you do, do you see not only is the packaging A1, I mean, I know you see that. I went in with a small brush and a tiny amount of product because I wanted to kind of control the sparkle and not get something too intense. I mean, this is still pretty sparkly, super beautiful, but a little less intense than it could be. So I love Glam Light highlighters and I will link my Glam Light playlist for you here in case you want to see any of their other products because... It is a favorite brand for me and this highlight with this kind of eye look is making me so happy. But before we move on to lips, let's do setting spray and we're going to use the one size setting spray. And I just looked at TikTok and it says that they've sold over 120,000 of these. That's wild to me like that is wild let me spray my face let's talk about this lip stain peel off lip liner i have only tried this once before so i'm going to watch a video and make sure i'm doing it right and we're gonna try it this is the Satchu. i'm sorry if i say the name wrong it is their uh lip liner stay and peel off lip liner tattoo in the shade mauve hazel is on I look kind of silly, but actually, why is this kind of a look? I'm gonna let that sit, and in the meantime, I'm gonna put pinked in the middle. Let's let that sit a little bit, and I'll be back to peel it off. Okay, I'm back, and it already started peeling a little bit, so I'm kind of excited. Okay, I am back, and this is literally so pretty. Hello, this is so pretty. Okay, I think it's ready, so I'm gonna see if I can peel it off. So here is what my lips look like after the stain. It's a very light, and yes, I did wipe off the road lip mask before I put the stain on. I didn't say that earlier, but I did do that. So now we're gonna use the tinted road lip tint peptide lip tint. This is what shade though? Espresso, espresso. So let's try it. I liked the other mask. It smelled really good or tasted really good. So let's see how the tinted version is. It is very sheer, like a tinted lip balm is probably a really good description because it's barely a tint. But I think my makeup looks great. We definitely have some products that I will keep testing and trying. Some things I've been loving for a long time and some things that maybe weren't my favorite. But I had fun with this. I hope y'all had fun too. You know, I watched TikTok so you didn't have to. And maybe you learned about some new cool viral products. Maybe some things you want to avoid. Maybe some things you want to check out. If you love makeup, hang out. Check out some of my other videos because I can and do talk about makeup all the time.